I am at London's St Pancras station. Now this looks like my train to take me speedily into the heart of Kent. It will be fascinating to compare travel on High Speed 1 to the more sedate speed of the Kent and East Sussex Railway, which is where I'm heading for. From its opening in 1905, it was privately owned, leading an impoverished existence until it was nationalised in 1948, but finally it closed in 1961 prior to the Beeching Report. A preservation group basing themselves at Tenterden Town Station were successful in running trains again as a heritage railway in 1974. Today, the line runs for ten and a half miles to Bodium, and there are plans to reconnect into the main line at Robertsbridge, which is served by trains from London to Hastings. I caught the one o'clock departure from Tenterden Town Station. Unfortunately, because of a lack of rain, the locomotive was a diesel, steam therefore being considered as a fire risk. The journey follows the Rother Valley entirely within the high wheeled area of outstanding natural beauty. As for Kit, keep it simple. On a train you have to be flexible. It is no place for tripods, filters and a gadget bag full of lenses. Very often you have to think quickly, so you don't want to be weighed down by gear. I took the OM5 with the 12-45 Pro lens and the EM10 as backup, expecting it to stay in my rucksack, which it did. You may require a more extended zoom range, so consider the 14-150. to I saved RAW, post-production is in Adobe Lightroom. The OM5 has a very effective image stabilizer that also works well on a moving train. Don't forget the movie button. After all, that is what it is all about, which was more important because of a lack of steam. I edit in iMovie and then save to MP4. Then it is quite easy to drop the clip into PowerPoint. The staff running the railway are volunteers and dress the part, and willing to have their photo taken. Well, I uh, think so. I believe that I have caught him pointing out something to another passenger. At Bodium, where the train turns round, I left the service and walked to Bodium Castle, a National Trust property. It was built in 1385, after receiving permission from the king to supposedly protect the area from French attack. Some structural work was in progress, but it was quite easy to conceal the scaffolding by selective viewpoint. It is only a shell, 
but being moated, it has an obvious photographic advantage. I returned to the station in time for the 4.25 departure, and then back home the way I came.